Alright fellas, I've covered many questionable people on this channel, and they range from a little bit bad to just absolutely terrible. Some people are just insanely selfish and they only care about themselves, and because of this trait, they make terrible decisions. And the real best part about a lot of these people is that they don't realize that they're in the wrong. Like, you know how half the viral Karen videos are recorded by the actual Karen? Because the Karen actually thinks that they're in the right, they think that if they tell people people their story in a certain way, maybe they embellish it a bit, only show their parts to make it good, maybe it makes themselves look a bit better, but in the end, people just don't be on their side, it doesn't end up working out, because the central theme always shines through, right? Their shining trait of being an a-hole always comes out in the end. Now, a lot of you guys want me to cover these type of stories, because you guys have been linking me a bunch of this type of stuff on Twitter to just cover some of these people, some of these a-holes on Reddit or just general forum posts of people asking if they are the bad guy. Like, some of these titles are so ridiculous, like, hey, I robbed a bank, am I the bad guy? And the internet has to go up to them, slap them in the face, and say, yeah, um, I I'm pretty sure you were in the wrong there. So today we look at a couple of these people, starting off with a guy who asks, am I the a-hole for logging into my friend's email account and declining her university's offer of admission? Okay, so right from the title, I can tell that a low IQ because that's barely a question. Ever since I was a child, I always dreamed of studying abroad. Luckily for me, my parents are financially stable and can afford sending me abroad in order to gain such an invaluable experience. However, there is one catch. That is, I must go with a friend of mine as they won't send me there alone. I thought this wasn't a problem since I've been planning to go with my friend to country X. This month, things change. My friend and I applied to two universities in different countries. When my friend got accepted to the university in country why, she told me that there is a possibility that she will go there instead as she has relatives there and that will allow her to stay in their house without her having to pay rent. I was heartbroken by the news. How could she do this to me? I told my parents about this and they assured me that if there's no other person I can go with, then I will be studying here instead. I could not let this happen. Although she didn't say she's going to do it for sure yet, I need a definite answer or else I'll keep being stressed about it. Alright, so pretty much this person's friend has a choice between two universities, one with her relatives and one which will allow her friend to tag along. My friend once told me her password on a game we play and I tried to see if she has the same password for her email and it turns out she does not. Nah, nah, I, I had sympathy for you at first, but you were an absolute weasel. So I logged in and rejected her admission offer and logged out. Okay, dude. All of these stories, right? Th these people start off being the good guys, you know, being wronged in some sort of way, like it's just like you know something bad happens and then they do something to make themselves the absolute worst like even in my last video I was covering a Karen who was telling a guy to wear a mask but then which is which is a perfectly fine thing to do you can tell people to wear a mask but she kept on being an absolute terrible person saying that saying that he needs to evolve with like Darwinism or some shit and said that his family is gonna die like you just turn into the so can't you just stop, look at the situation in a level-headed manner, and figure things out like that? I told my parents about it to assure them that my friend will now be going with me, but they got so upset on me and, and are now threatening me that they're gonna call my friend's parents and tell them what I did. I mean, obviously, at least your friend, at least your parents have brain cells. I beg them not to, but they're not listening. They want to do it in case she can still email the university. In the end, I told them that let me tell her instead, and they agreed to it. Although I don't think I will- no, nah, dude, you're, you're actually an absolute freaking snake. So, first off, you claim to be this person's very good friend, right? And then, and then you go into their account, reject their application to a university they really want to go to. That is pathetic. You're you're keeping keeping her from from her relatives from a, a great opportunity just because you're selfish. Dude, this is the height of selfishness. You've actually pissed me off, man. Bruh. Now, our next story is of a dad who refuses to pay for his daughter's wedding. And you might be thinking, all right, what did the daughter do? Like, probably did something bad, right? Maybe she aimed a rocket launcher at her, her grandmother. And in that case, okay, it seems all right. But the, re the reason the dad gives is pretty much just straight up homophobic. And I, I just don't understand why you would even think like this. My husband 
husband and I started saving for my daughter's college fund since she was born. We both worked really hard for our money and we accumulated a lot for her. She ended up getting a scholarship to cover a lot of her college, so we had about 20k left over. We offered to give it to her at that time and she said that she'd rather keep it for when she gets married and we agreed. About 4 years ago, my daughter came out as bisexual and started dating a girl. This shocked us a lot because we never saw her as a type. My husband and I were really upset because we loved the idea of her having a husband and a family, grandchildren for us. We thought it was just a phase but 4 years later they're still together and they got engaged last month. They came over to visit and do some wedding planning. She got her journal and it had the finances they put aside for the wedding as well as the 20k mom and dad. I saw this and told her that we were planning on using that 20k for renovations now. She questioned us and we were upfront and said we agreed for her to use that money under the assumption that she was marrying a man. Her girlfriend got very upset and started calling us homophobic. I mean, yeah. And my daughter just sat there letting her go off at us. I mean, I would too. Like, bro, what, are, are you kidding me? So you had your, you had your money. You have 20k reserved for your daughter's wedding. You were willing to give it to her at the time. A couple years pass and you find out she's gay and she wants to marry uh, another girl. And for some reason, you need to use it for renovations now. How can you call yourself a loving parent when you act like this? Like, sure, you can disagree with the concept of a person being gay. You can be like, I don't agree with that, whatever. But the fact that you had the money reserved for it, and solely because the, this person is gay, you decide to retract the money. That is homophobic. I'm sorry. And this is your own daughter. Like, did did her did her attitude change? No. Did her did anything else change? It's just the fact that she's not marrying a man. That, that's kind of pathetic from you. Then my daughter said that the money was mine and I had it all planned out to use it towards a wedding. Well, no, it's our money that we save with a specific use. Well, you never told her that you would only use it if she married a man. Maybe if you told it, told it to her before, like that would make you uh, an asshole, but at least it would be justified. Like I would only give you this money if you're marrying a man because of your own, own sort of ideals or whatever. But you, you told her it's reserved for her marriage. And if her marriage is like that, like it's kind you're, you're going back on your words. She left in a huff and told us to never speak to her again. I think she's being very ungrateful, but my other daughter has now turned on us as well and said we are terrible parents. I'm not homophobic. I respect same-sex couples. It is just not what I wanted for my daughter. Am I the a-hole? Yes, yes you are. Like, even your other daughter realized that you're terrible parents, dude. The thing is, even if you're not overtly homophobic, just the fact that you retracted the money just portrays a message to your daughter that you think that the relationship is less valuable like but the fact that you had you had money promised to her for her wedding and then you attracted that's so messed up man i don't know man i i I would be mad too. <laughs> Alright, moving on to the third story. So this one's titled, Am I the a-hole for telling my boyfriend's mother that she raised a freaking sociopath who needs to be in a facility? I mean, that's an interesting title if you want like people to not like you. But uh, this story, uh, I I've taken a look at this story, and this story is a prime example of just being a terrible person just because someone else was terrible to you. It's like the most absurd logic that a lot of people use nowadays days and it's so frustrating like if you're mad you don't have the right to be mad at someone else other than the person who made you mad so I, female 26, have a boyfriend, male 24, and recently got into a dispute with the neighbor's kids. They accidentally kicked their football into our yard and they came into the garden to get it back. To be honest, I didn't really care, but my boyfriend started screaming at these freaking 11 year olds about how they're poorly raised and how their parents should be ashamed. I was freaking mortified. I sent the kids some chocolates and sweets and apologized profusely for his behavior. I was seeing red flags and told him his behavior was not normal. He he kind of brushed me off and I told him that if he pulled anything like that again, he was gone. The next week, the ball came into our garden and I was about to throw it back to the kids when my boyfriend stormed outside, took the ball inside, I told the kids that I would bring it back in a minute but he went into the bathroom, emerged like 10 minutes later wearing gloves and a football covered in sh his own sh what the frick? Okay, so clearly the the boyfriend is a complete psychopath. Like, you know that old man who's always just annoying you? Like, you, you accidentally kick the kick the football out of your little playing area into their property, and instead of just being being a nice person and handing it back, they do some sort of sh 
like maybe poke a hole in it or um, throw it somewhere else or not give it back, complain to the guards. This person literally takes a human dump on it, bruh. So obviously this person is terrible. And somehow by the end of the story, the, the, the female is also a terrible person. I asked him if he was out of his freaking mind, but he stormed past me and threw it over the fence screaming, take that you beeholes. Is, is this guy like from Xbox Live or something, bro? Calm down. And I swear to God, it, it should be illegal throwing your feces at kids. Like, how is this guy not in jail? I deleted all his games off of his PS4 and gave it to the kids as an apology. I was so embarrassed. My ex-boyfriend's mom messaged me asking what happened, and I responded with, What happened? What happened? You were a pathetic excuse of a woman who raised a freaking sociopath who covered a football in his own poo-poo and threw it at some kids, and he needs to be in a facility because something is wrong with him, and God knows how I hadn't seen any red flags about the freaking monster you raised during the seven months we dated. Okay, let's dial it back a bit. So the boyfriend wrongs you, right? He does something absolutely horrific and he broke your trust, blah, blah, blah. You hate him. And that, now the boyfriend's mom, a completely different person, just because it, it's this person's mom doesn't mean anything. They're two separate adults, all right? So you decide to absolutely go off on this old woman for no reason at all, except for the actions of her son, which she can't control at all, and you called her a pathetic excuse of a woman. Okay, so how is that justified? Just because just because her son is a pathetic excuse of a man, she is automatically a pathetic excuse of a woman. That, that makes- that, there's no correlation. I hate these kind of people, man. Anyways, that's about it. I hope you guys did enjoy. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Road to 200k. Um, follow me on Twitter. Thank you all so much for the support recently. I, I really appreciate it. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. And I'll be sure to make more. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye!